South Africa was in a technical recession at the beginning of 2020. This continued through quarter one as GDP contracted by a further 2% quarter on quarter and peaked in quarter two due to the extended lockdown which hampered market activities. The company recently undertook a, a survey amongst uh, its customers. The results reveal that our customer and customers anticipate that domestic market size would reduce by around 27% in 2020 compared to the 2090 full year levels. Agricultural, packing, DIY and infrastructure are expected to be less impacted, while the construction, automotive, machinery and equipment sectors expect to be more severely impacted. 2020 real GDP growth in South Africa is expected to fall by around 10%. But SA's apparent steel consumption fell 26% to 1.8 million tons in the first half. There was a 31% decrease in steel imports. These constitute 19% of apparent steel consumption, which is in line with the 20% of the same period last year. Major source countries of imports are China, Europe, Japan, Russia and Taiwan, with China and particularly Russia proving to the, be the most uh, disruptive. As reported at our 2019 full year results presentation in February, ITAC made an assessment in September 2019 that Russia no longer qualified for exemption from safeguards on hot rolled oil products. Ten months later, the decision is still to be gazetted and implemented despite numerous letters from the company urging action. In this context then, our liquid steel production fell 54% to 1.1 million tons. There was a 47% reduction in sales volumes to 1.1 million tons as domestic sales reduced by 40% and exports by 65%.